Hello plant friends, Adina here from Plants Equals Happiness. As I promise every day a different Hoya, today I present to you Hoya Sunrise. I will show you Hoya Sunrise for you. Hoya Sunrise comes from Southeast Asia. Hoya Sunrise is a cross between Hoya Lacunosa subspecies Pallidiflora and Hoya Obscura, hybridized by Michael Miyashiro in 1992. I have here Hoya Obscura and you can see they are quite similar with Hoya Sunrise. And I have Hoya Lacunosa as well. And I will show you a leaf. As you can see, it's quite pointy leaf with veins. And Hoya Obscura, it's quite, quite similar with Hoya Sunrise. So you can see the similarity between these two, Hoya Obscura and Hoya Lacunosa. The leaves really do look like a cross between these two Hoyas and the foliage, it's absolutely gorgeous. Hoya Sunrise was published in Asclepios 91, 2004. The smooth leaves are rather dark green with visible veins and some flecks. And I will show you on Sunstress Hoya Sunrise. You can see it has a little bit of flex on the leaves and they are quite reddish. I have three cuttings of Hoya Sunrise and of course all of them, they live in Leka. They are about five uh, and nine centimeters long and two and three centimeters wide. Some leaves look more like lacunosa and some more like obscura and the mix of all this and the fact that the leaves are bigger than obscura makes this is a really lovely Hoya. When exposed to bright light, the red will rise to a deep crimson, justifying its epic namesake sunrise. You can see on this beautiful leaf, leaves of sunrise that is sunstress and on those ones as well. The flowers are also a combination of lacunosa and obscura. They are white and revolute and just like obscura, they turn pink when grows in bright light uh, and or sunshine. Each flower is about five millimeter and you'll find 10, between 10 and 20 flowers in each umbel. And I will show you the flowers of Hoya Sunrise. And when they open, they are like that. Beautiful, beautiful flowers. The flowers have a very nice perfume like fragrance and they last about a week. The soil of Hoya uh, Sunrise needs to be very airy. So I use African violet soil mixed with orchid bark. When you water Hoya Sunrise, you should let the, the soil dry out between watering. You should water more in summer time and less in winter. In the winter time, Hoya Sunrise can be kept in temperature not lower than 14 degrees Celsius or 57 degrees Fahrenheit. So this is beautiful, beautiful Hoya Sunrise, which is a cross between Hoya Lacunosa 
Suspicious Pallidiflora and Hoya Obscura. So I have here Hoya Obscura and Hoya Lacunosa. Um, and now I will show you my Hoya Javanica who is in bud like right now and I will show you the flowers. Which they call uh, shootings. You can see a few of them, they open up. How beautiful these flowers are. Are just stunning. And I can't wait for the whole buds to open up in a couple of days. So Hoya Javanica flowers are just stunning. And I will show you the flowers on this uh, waffle uh, plant. A purple waffle plant which is called the raid ivy which is an excellent air purifying you can see the leaves they are quite um, crinkly and uh, underneath of the leaves it's purple and the flowers they are so cute they are like white flowers very, very beautiful. It's a beautiful, beautiful house plant to have in your collection. So this is a purple waffle plant or red ivy. And my philodendron Florida ghost, the new leaf, which is in fur. And I can wait for this house plants to uh, house plant to grow as well. It's a beautiful, beautiful house plant to have in your collection. This is more like a rare house plant. Philodendron Florida Ghost. And my beautiful, beautiful begonia rex with stunning colors. You can see the new leaves, beautiful, beautiful, stunning colors, beautiful speckle leaves as well. And when they mature, they become really, 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 really purplish, reddish color with silver speckle. It's a beautiful, beautiful house plant to have in your collection amazing colors and since I love houseplants so much other hobby of mine they are cactus I love cactus I love to buy different cactus and of course every diff every cactus has different flowers as well look at this cactus it's absolutely beautiful 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 cactus and the name of the cactus is Astrophytum ornatum This is the first one. The second one, which is more hairy, this is Orecereus Celsianus, an old man of the ends cactus. This is beautiful, beautiful cactus as well. And of course, I can wait for the flowers, but of course, next year now because the um, autumn is around the corner, so they will um, go into dormancy really soon. And the last one, but not the least one, this is Pilosoreus Azureus. You can see the blue color which is absolutely gorgeous 
bluish tint of this cactus coming out. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful cactus. So those ones are all the house plants that are in my collection. So today we are talking about uh, Hoya Sunrise and I will show you again Hoya Sunrise. So these beautiful, beautiful leaves, they are Hoya Sunrise and of course they are in Leka and if you sun stress it, they become like reddish green color and you can see on those leaves as well. Beautiful, beautiful Hoya. Thank you so much for watching my videos. Thank you so much for subscribing. And um, see you tomorrow for another video. Thank you. Bye. Bye.